New at 10, a pair of El Paso boys high school basketball teams travel to the Texas Panhandle tonight to continue their playoff runs. KTSM 9 News reporter Colin Deaver made the trip with Chapin and Americas for round three of the postseason and brings us this report. For the second year in a row, both Chapin and Americas advanced to the regional quarterfinals of the UIL state playoffs. The Trailblazers in Class 6A battle in Keller Central. And here in Seminole, number 12, Chapin in Class 5A playing Amarillo Paladero. Both these teams trying to advance to the Sweet 16 for the second season in a row. Chapin, of course, getting star recruit KJ Lewis back from a suspension that he served during the area round. The man who stepped up and led the Huskies to a victory in the area round was Antoine Holmes. There he is bearing a three pointer. He had 15 points in this one. Then he'll find Lewis for a triple of his own on the wing. This all part of a 22 to nothing Chapin run in the first quarter, punctuated by this Lewis on the deck. Up ahead to Bryson Goldsmith, who had 20 points on the evening. Chapin up 18 points at halftime. They would extend it after the break off of the miss. Lewis going to find his buddy Holmes inside for two. Then these two working hard on the defensive end. Lewis going to get it and punch it home. Scream everything, and then here's your exclamation point from Lewis. Two-handed flush as Chapin wins 76 to 56 to advance to the regional tournament for the second year in a row. Last Friday, you know, it hurt me not to be out there with my guys, and you know, I'm glad I got to celebrate a win with them. You know, we just bought into the defensive side and you know, hit them first. My specialty is um, defense, which I got from the great Jim Forbes, and I know he's with us. Um, everything about this feels calm. I know Coach Forbes is, is speaking to me. I know he's looking out for me. Northeast, we did it again, baby. The 12th ranked Huskies will get number seven Mansfield Timberview in the regional semifinals on Friday in Wichita Falls. Meanwhile, about 30 minutes south of here in Andrews in the Class 6A Boys Regional Quarterfinals, America's defeating Keller Central 44 to 38 to improve to 35 and 2 on the season and punch their ticket to the regional tournament for the second season in a row. This is actually the third consecutive year that at least two El Paso Boys basketball teams will be headed to the Sweet 16. We will see what Shapin and Americas can do once they get there starting on Friday. For now, it's Seminole, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.